What's up guys? It's another day in paradise. So I paid it back. If any of you watched my video, Truckers Helping Truckers, um, my batteries went dead the other day. I should say the other night. And um, I, um, I needed a jump start and someone helped me out. And it was highly appreciated. So this morning I got up and um, I didn't have the same issue. I kind of changed my routine a little bit to keep it from happening again. I probably still need, um, I may be due for battery soon. I, I gotta do a little diagnosing there. Anyway, so this morning I was walking into the truck stop and um, there's a guy kind of just standing out in front of the door and it's cold. So as I'm walking up, he kind of approaches me and he's like, hey, you know, do you have a couple minutes you think you could give me a jump start? And man, it was kind of weird because it like, that was me yesterday. And so I'm like, yeah, where are you at? And so he points over towards where the cars are parked, which is on the other side of the truck stop. And I'm like, you know, I don't think I can get in there with my truck and trailer. I said, give me a few minutes, let me go to the restroom. I'll drop my trailer and I'll come over to you and we'll get it done. And he's like, well, if it's too much trouble, I understand. And I told him, no, I still got a few more hours here before I have to leave. I said, and I, I need to pay it back. And he kind of looked at me and I'm like, someone gave me a jump start yesterday. And so it's, it's, it's my turn. And he kind of smiled and he goes, I appreciate that. And I'm like, I appreciated it yesterday too, bud. And so he's like, okay. And I said, give me a couple minutes and it's gonna take me a couple minutes to drop the trailer and go to the restroom and, and I'll be over there. And he's like, well, you need any help? And I'm like, no, no, just hang out and I'll be right there. So I go over there and it turns out the guy has a toy hauler, an RV basically. It went dead and so did his truck. Apparently he had the two connected to each other. So as his heater ran all night, it killed his pickup truck batteries and it killed the RVs, what they call house batteries. And so when I show up, you know, I ask him, I'm like, hey, so you alone? He's like, no, I got the wife and kids inside. And I tell him, well, then let's jumpstart the RV first. And he goes, I don't want to keep you too long. And I'm like, I'm not leaving for a couple hours. You know, I have an RV also. And I've had it where my RV got cold at night and my wife and kid were inside shivering. I said, so let's, I said, it's not gonna take much to start your generator because it's got a teeny tiny little starter. It's gonna start right away. I said, let's, let's get your generator going, get the heater going, get the coffee going where they're comfortable again, and then we'll work on your truck. And so he was like, okay. So I repositioned my truck closer to his RV and, um, you know, like I said, it immediately started. And you could hear the kids cheer inside, which, you know, made me feel good. It, it really did. I, I, I couldn't stop smiling. I'm smiling now because I just remembered to hear, the, to hear the kids cheering. And so as I'm repositioning the truck, the guy goes inside and comes right back out again, probably to check on the wife and make sure everything starts and, and, and is starting to work again. And so as I get up closer to where his pickup truck is, you know, I go to jump out and, you know, drag my cables over. So his wife opens up the door and um, hands off a couple cups of coffee. So she started the coffee maker and we had coffee. And it wasn't so much that, you know, I did it for a cup of coffee. The guy had already offered me cash and I told him no. Um, but, you know, she brings out a couple cups of coffee and not that I would accept, you know, plus it was a little bonding time for the guy and I, even though we don't know each other, um, you know, we sat there and he commented on my San Francisco hat. He's like, you from California? <laughs> anyway, and so, you know, we, we talked a little football, and gave it a couple minutes for, for his batteries to charge on his truck. And uh, I enjoyed the coffee. It was actually really good. And um, so his truck starts and, you know, we didn't shake hands because you're not supposed to, right? So he goes to thank me again. He's like, man, I really want to give you something. I'm like, I got to know someone new. 
I enjoyed a good cup of coffee with you. I said, you got to understand when you're on the road, you don't interact with people very much. I said, so thanks for the, thanks for the conversation and the cup of coffee. It was excellent. I said, you know, tell your wife I said the coffee's excellent. Anyway, so I left there feeling really good. Came back, hooked up my trailer, um, ran inside the truck stop, got a shower in, and um, back on the road, but feeling a little better about myself. Just, it, it feels good to, I didn't do it because I had to pay something back, but it almost seemed like the man upstairs put that chain of events one right after the other. He, he put me in that path for the next guy the same way he put Mr. C.J. Fox in my path yesterday. And um, that was pretty cool. I, I think that that was, it, it put a smile on my face, even though I was shivering and all that. <laughs> it was cold out there. I didn't want to be out there, I ain't gonna lie. But uh, you know, I, I remembered C.J. jumped out of his truck and he was probably in a dead sleep, comfy. And so it, I guess I got, it reminds me, I need to thank Mr. C.J. Fox from Atlanta, Georgia again, because um, I just did the same thing he did. And yeah, it would have been easier just to stay in your truck and be nice and warm. Anyways, enough about that. Um, I paid it forward and I told the guy, I'm like, you're an RVer, so you know, you know you'll pay it forward again. Someone, someone at the campsite's gonna have dead batteries. And he's like, it happens a lot. And I'm like, yeah. I said, that's why you didn't have a problem walk around and, and ask people to get jump started because it does happen a lot. When you RV, you kill your batteries. It just is what it is. Anyways, um, thanks for watching.